Hi YouTubers, welcome and thanks for clicking in. I have here a Maniology first impressions. In the beginning of the video, you saw that advertisement and I saw it on Instagram, so I had to partake in it. It was only $7.95 to ship this starter stamping kit out, which I thought was awesome because they included two stamping plates, two polishes, and one stamping stamper so here is their little scraper as well and i decided to pick up the rebel stamping kit and when purchasing i had no idea what polishes they were going to send and the first one that i have is yummy gummy which is a really light purple really light purple and then the other one is mirror mirror which is a holographic black and here is their cute little rectangular stamper that is see-through and clear as day. It is firm and feels very sturdy. Here is a close-up of Yummy Gummy and a close-up of Mirror Mirror. I don't have any stamping polishes like those, so happy to have those in my collection. And the reason why I chose the Rebel stamping plates is because I don't have any designs like those. And also, I love how it fits in my Born Pretty plate holder so easily. And let's rip the blue film off and let's get started. Here is Yummy Gummy. I don't have any pale purples like this. And here is Mirror Mirror. And I'm going to put my gloves on because it gets dirty. And let's see how this stamps. The stamper is very unique in the way that it stamps. I find that you can't roll when you're picking up. You have to stamp down and pick up. So it was very a learning curve for me because I'm used to clear jelly. And I'm not sure if these images are just really tiny, but I definitely had some troubles picking it up. But once you actually pick up the image and it was a good scrape, then it is good. And I'm gonna be trying out the Yummy Gummy over the white and see if you can see that really pale purple on the white. So let's see. These are little headphones that I picked up and you can't see it on the white at all. So can't see the purple on the white. So I'm gonna pick it up again I love those headphones, I really do. You can kind of see it a little bit. So I'm gonna take this cool Bitcoin image and I'm gonna stamp this over black and see if you can see it. And you definitely can, but as you can see when I lift it up, some of the nail polish didn't stick. So yes, I wanted to make this video because I thought it was awesome that you could get two polishes, two plates, and a scraper for just shipping and handling, which was $7.95. And you got to actually choose what plate set you, you want to purchase. And like I said, I don't have any stamping plates that have these images like this skeleton and the dinosaur with the florals around it and the little Mario Bro hearts and the little cubes and the messages. I really think that I could do some cute manicures with this if I can learn how to properly use their stamper. The instructions does say to work fast, which I am doing. But like I said right here, it even shows that it just doesn't pick up sometimes. And I'm not sure if it's because it's smaller or I need more practice with their stamper. Also, I thought maybe it could be the stamping polishes. I didn't want to pull out my clear jelly polishes because I wanted to keep it all maniology. But in my next video, I will see if this clear jelly stamping polishes work with these plates. I think it's all about working fast because this nail was perfect. And as you can see here, the dinosaur image, it didn't pick up the florals on the top, but I'm still going to use it. 
because I love Tyrannosaurus Rex in the middle with the mirror image. It's so beautiful. I love it. I love it. It's like all about the groove. Once you get in the groove, it's all good. But like I said, definitely unique with this stamper. You have to like stamp down instead of rolling. So that's like the main tip or trick that I have with this stamper so far. But even when you do, some of the images don't show up thick. Like here, for instance, I had to do the mushroom and heart four times, sometimes even five to get a good image. And the same thing with the cubes. So I don't know if it's because they're too small or the polishes or what, but if you keep going, you will eventually get a good stamp. But for me, my patience is kind of low, especially when doing my nails. So I want a product to work fast, like that stamp right there that was like perfect, but all of them aren't so it's kind of like up in the air if i were to do my nails with this stamping plate because it would be a hit and miss if it's deep and dark like that or not even noticeable so i definitely will be practicing more with these because like i said i love the images Do you see how the triangle and the cube, it's missing numericals and I just don't like that. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the complete image on there. Cause like you can see as I'm showing you the stamps, some are thick and then some don't even come up. Then there are times when I go to stamp down and the image doesn't even stamp and I hate that so for a first time stamper i don't think i would recommend this set but the price is there for two stamping plates two polishes and a stamper you can't beat that price and like here with this one for instance it was too thick you couldn't even see rock and roll so i had to go back and do it again so that was like four times to get the perfect stamp. Whereas with Clear Jelly Stamper or Born Pretty or even Queen, it's really just a one-time scrape, one-time stamp. But with these Maniology stampers and plates, I'm finding you have to do it at least four times to get a perfect stamp, which is why I switched from my demo nails to this nail art wheel, because I wanted to show you all as many stamps as I can from this plate because like I told you, I love the images. So here are some more from the plates. Let me know if you all have worked with Maniology. Is this the case for you? Or do you guys have tips and tricks? Am I doing it wrong? I have no idea. This is my first time messing with it. My first impressions of it. And I will definitely be doing more videos with the plates with different polishes, different stampers. So yes, let me know in the comments below. This is one of my favorites from the plate, the alien and the chemist and the DNA, love that. But I definitely chose it wrong color because purple does not go over white, but you can kind of see it. I, there, finally, do you see the dinosaur, but you see the flowers missing up on the top? Ah, but the dinosaur is still cute. It's still cute. And I love those headphones. All in all, I do like the plate images. I do like the tiny stamper. However, if I were to recommend this to a first time stamper, I would not. I would recommend Clear Jelly, Born Pretty, or Queen because I found this set was just way too hard to produce stamps. I had to rescrape, I kid you not, five times for all of them. And sometimes they would work, sometimes they wouldn't. Um, it was very finicky, so. Here is the final results on my demo tips. 
Let me know in the comments below what you all think or if I'm completely using the stamper wrong. Thank you all for hanging out with me today and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.